Nintendo's such a part of him that he's willing to crisscross the country in search of these holy grail-like artifacts. A young man goes off on a very noble quest. Yes, this is the story of mythology and country songs, but today's story is centered around a man collecting all 678 Nintendo cartridges. His name is Jay Bartlett. This is an authentic documentary directed by another guy named Robert McCallum, set in your old stomping ground. My old stomping ground, Toronto. yeah, Toronto. Well, around Toronto, so they're from just a place outside of Toronto, and they go and they see people like Sid Bolton. Sid Bolton, you guys know him? Well, you should know him. Well, you should know Sid Bolton, of course, because he has the largest curation of video games in Canada. But the thing is, though, is this documentary is made with so much love, and you see the love right from the beginning, because they really do have this great friendship, the director and the star of this whole quest, and they just want to find all of these Nintendo games. It seems crazy, but not for collectors out there. I feel like if you have any kind of video game collection at all, this seems like an amazing adventure to go on. This video game console didn't fade when it left store shelves. It's still around with a fan base of millions across the world and continues to impact a lot of people. Like this modern day treasure hunter from London, Ontario, Canada, who loves Nintendo so much that he started a quest to get all 678 original NES games in person within 30 days. You know, I kept watching this thing and I can't take my eyes off this kind of movie. Yeah. I love the premise so much. I'm not a big collector, not the way Vic is and maybe not the way you are, but <laughs> I do, like these are still my people and I do like to see them operate and go, as they go through life and I like to see them go into all the used game stores and to connect with lots of people. The thing I kept thinking is, would other people who aren't gamers uh, enjoy this? And I don't know, I can't answer that. What do you think? Uh I think there is a huge culture online of people watching other people do things like this, like on YouTube, people like watching collection videos, even if they don't collect themselves. So I think there is some merit to this movie. I feel like there is something there for people that are not collectors. But you're right, I did have that pull in there because number one, it was collecting Nintendo games. Who doesn't love the NES and who doesn't want to see yeah, these games? I know, I don't want to play the games, but I do you want to collect them. see them. them like yeah. when they found Bubble Bobble, I'm like, wow, I have Bubble Bobble. What does this mean oh, for me? Yeah, it's so exciting. I was so excited when he found these games that I know and love so you do have the connection there so maybe if you don't collect but you played an NES game you can find a tie to it but also the tie for me came from just being in Ontario because mm -hmm. they were going to places like ANC games in Toronto are you, you kidding know me that this, store? yes this place is amazing in Toronto it's so freaking I great go there. Too, yeah you should definitely go there yeah. if you're in the Toronto area for sure but I thought that the quest was supposed to be across the country but they seem to be going in the states too <laughs> so I'm not, I didn't really understand the premise I didn't understand either it's a little vague a little more ambiguous than I would like it to be I don't think this is a great film or a great documentary. It's no King of Kong. But I still, I really couldn't take my eyes off this thing, and I enjoyed the whole thing. If you're a fan of video games, a fan of the NES, a fan of Nintendo at all, I don't see why you wouldn't want to see this thing. I'm, I'm rooting for it, for sure. I can't go too crazy with my score, because I don't think everybody will like it, but I liked it. 7.5 for me. Yeah, it's a good score. 7.5 for me as well. EP's movie coverage is brought to you by Nintendo, makers of Splatoon for the Wii U.